Well, talks resumed today between Russian and Ukrainian delegations following failed attempts to evacuate civilians from several cities under attack. Almost two million people have already fled Ukraine. WGN's Brona Tamulti is here now with the latest on the crisis. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, those talks may mean evacuation corridors will be up and running from tomorrow, and they are desperately needed, with Ukrainian officials saying Russia is resorting to tactics reminiscent of medieval warfare surrounding cities, cutting off escape routes, and up in attacks on civilians. In the space of 11 days, an estimated 1.7 million people have fled Ukraine, with refugees pouring into neighboring countries, among them 10-year-old Anna Maria Maslovska, a refugee who's now in Hungary and wondering if her friends are safe. I'm really worried because, and, uh, they, and because uh, I don't know where they are. 37-year-old Yelena Makarova left her home when the bombs started dropping, arriving in Poland with her mother and daughter telling cameras her husband, brother and father stayed at home to fight. <laughs> Officials say Russian forces have stepped up their shelling with necessities like food and water becoming increasingly scarce. Delegations from both sides holding a third round of talks today following failed attempts over the weekend to establish evacuation routes for civilians. A top Ukrainian official saying there's hope those corridors will be fully functional from Tuesday. That news follows a rejection of a Kremlin proposed plan to provide safe passage not to the west but to Russia and its ally Belarus. In a video address Sunday, the Ukrainian president urging Western leaders to help his country obtain warplanes to better defend themselves from what he called terrorist acts by Russia. The UN says it's been able to confirm the deaths of 406 civilians in Ukraine since the beginning of the Russian invasion. Over 800 casualties have also been confirmed. However, it is believed that in reality, the death toll is probably significantly higher.